Shalom lachem, shalom. I'm Messianic Rabbi, Zev Porat, and welcome to Treasures in the Hebraic Roots. Today we're going to be speaking about how to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. What the Bible says, and many of us are familiar with the famous Bible passage, Psalms 122.6, but we're going to have a look in Hebrew today and see what the text says and how to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. So I read Psalms 122, verse 6 in Hebrew. Shalu Shalom Yerushalayim. Yishalu Ohavecha. In English, Psalms 122.6, Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. One thing I want to bring out here is, uh, first of all, that they shall prosper that love thee. Love thee in Hebrew cannot be a city. It has to be a person. So what the text is saying in Hebrew is, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper if they love me. Who is me? Me is Yeshua. It's Jesus. So Yeshua is actually prophetically equalizing himself with Yerushalayim, with Jerusalem. When he says, when you do pray for Jerusalem, it means you love me. And it would match uh, what, he, what he did all through his ministries. Uh, the Pharisees confronted Yeshua, Jesus, and they told uh, Yeshua, can you keep your disciples quiet? And Jesus, Yeshua answers them even if I would keep them quiet. The very rocks would cry out my name, and I'm just paraphrasing. We have other places where the Bible says that I've written my name on Jerusalem. So this would definitely match here, Psalms 122, verse 6. So number one, we see that God is saying, if you really love Jesus, if you really love Yeshua, if you really worship Yeshua, he's saying, if you pray for the peace of Jerusalem, you will prosper because you love me. That's what the Hebrew text is saying. It's very powerful. And another thing that we see here, uh, in the you won't see it in the English or any other language, but you do see it in the Hebrew. In the Hebrew, and especially in the, not in all the translations of the Bible, but in the original text, if you look at a scroll, you'll notice that the word peace there is enlarged, capitalized. And the reason is that God is also giving you the recipe how to pray for Jerusalem. Now, we, we did the why, what would happen if you did it, if you love me, you pray for Jerusalem. But now he's actually telling you why, how to pray for Jerusalem. And, he's, and the reason the peace is enlarged is taken from uh, uh, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, where it says the Prince of Peace. So he's saying, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray that they will come to know the Prince of Peace. Because the gospel went to the, to the nations. The gospel went to the world uh, because Israel rejected the gospel. The Israelites rejected. They were blinded. And one of the reasons God allowed them to be blind is so the gospel can go out to the ends of the world in order so the nations, the Gentiles, can get salvation. Now God is saying, now it's your turn to bring the gospel back to Jerusalem. I want you to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And how do you pray for the peace of Jerusalem? That they would come to know the Prince of Peace, Isaiah 9, 6, because they missed the first coming, so you can get salvation. Now it's time for you to pray for them, that they would get salvation, that they won't miss his second coming, that they would see the Prince of Peace. And that's how you pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Now, I'm not saying that we're not to pray for peace in the Middle East, or, but we all know that that's only temporary. The eternal peace can only come from Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Prince of Peace. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. I'm Messianic Rabbi Zev Porat, sending you blessings from Israel. Until next time, may we all pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Bring the gospel back to Jerusalem and go home. Shalom from Israel in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach.